Copenhagen District Heating System is among the world's largest and most successful. It supplies 98% of the city and 500,000 inhabitants with reliable and affordable heating. Heating of our houses in Copenhagen hasn't been like this forever. We had a city where we had to face the problem of increasingly scarce and increasingly expensive fuels. We had severe concerns about the quality of air within the city caused by the burning of coal and oil in our buildings and at our power plants. We needed to address the low efficiency of energy distribution in the existing district heating network. At the same time, we expanded the net to cover the whole city. The central heat is a free resource. The excess heat from the production of electricity and the incineration of waste is utilized. In this way, we have achieved substantial reductions in our carbon emissions, but we still have to use some fossil fuels at our power plants. But we now work on decarbonizing our heating system fully. The use of mixed fuels such as waste, straw, wood pellets, wood chips and geothermal heating will in a few years replace coal, oil and natural gas. In this way we lower carbon dioxide emissions. This biomass is to replace coal entirely with one plant already producing 100% renewable energy and three more being planned. Overall, carbon dioxide emissions resulting from the consumption of heat and electricity have decreased by almost 1 million tonnes in just 10 years. 15 to 20 percent of the heat comes from waste. In a few years, the carbon emissions will be reduced to close to zero.